Welcome back to Bob's Garage Tech. You can see, side job Saturday. Got a bunch of cars here. Not sure my HOA really appreciate me working on cars. So today, we are going to do a serpentine belt on a 2021 Denali Yukon XL. Oh yeah. We just picked this up not too long ago and we are absolutely in love with it. We did buy this Denali used, so I've been working out the kinks and making sure all the maintenance is up to date. And uh, upon one of my first inspections, I found the serpentine belt was a little frayed on the side. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the serpentine belt yourself. Um, GM does require a special tool for this because they got rid of the belt tensioner. What the heck? So um, all you're gonna need is the new belt and some zip ties. Okay, I lied about only needing zip ties. You're gonna need a seven millimeter and you're gonna need to uh, loosen a, a clamp on the throttle body and here to get this air resonator out of the way so we can reach the serpentine belt. Loosen this clamp, loosen this warp drive clamp and boom, this thing will rock right off and it, it is supported by a little rubber bushing here. Um, but it just comes right off. So let's try to do that. So like I said, if there's a little rubber bushing, sometimes it gets caught up right there. Um, I just like to lay this thing to the side and boom, we can see the serpentine belt. Now I got a little gung ho and I removed the old belt already, but all you need to do is get a pair of dykes and either cut it off um, or your belt may already be broken off. I don't really know. Uh, don't try to work its way off. It's actually really hard to get off because of the tension. So what I like to do is just cut them with a pair of dykes or scissors, sharp scissors, a knife, just be careful. All right, let's get started into putting the new belt on. What you're gonna wanna do is route the belt on the upper part. The part that you're gonna put the zip ties, I'll show you in a minute. It's gonna act just like the GM special tool. Basically, it just clamps the belt down onto the harmonic balancer. All right, let me get a flashlight and we'll get down in there. I already put the zip ties on just because it's easier to film. You can see, let's see if we can get this to zoom. All right, perfect. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, you can see I put two large zip ties. I'm hoping that will hold. Um, I've seen people use up to four or five uh, smaller ones and it works. So I'm hoping these two hold. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is get it all set up where if it rotates clockwise, it will hold that belt into position. All right, let's give it a go. Rotating the engine clockwise with your 24 millimeter and large ratchet, it will pull the belt downwards with those zip ties and kind of pop the belt into its place. Let's give it a try. All right, let's give this a try. guys what is happening and as you can see it's pulling the bell around Let's see basically doing what the GM special tool does. All right, it worked. So once you got around that threshold, you can see that the zip ties are coming back around and it popped the belt over the splines of the harmonic balancer. That's pretty sweet. 
basically anybody can do this in their garage even if they don't have the special tool all you need is some big zip ties and voila all right so now i'm just gonna try to cut these zip ties should be able to just cut them with some, a pair of dykes it's kind of tight in here all right perfect there it is belt is all the way on that was easy man can't believe GM got rid of the belt tensioner, but hey, you know what? One less pulley to fail. Um, another thing you wanna remember is when you do have your old belt off, check your check the bearings, make sure everything feels smooth when it spins, the alternator, your water pump, and this little idler pulley right here. Um, they do go bad a lot, so check it. Uh, I replaced my belt because it was like fraying on the side. I don't know if it's the way someone put it on. Uh, like I said, I, we bought this in all use, so I've just been working out the kinks and making sure everything's taken care of. Oh, yes. Okay, we're gonna wanna put the air resonator on, exactly how it came off. Um, let's set it down on that little rubber bushing there. And then you want it to line up with your, sorry for that up with the throttle body and make sure may need two hands for this and the can holding the camera is making it difficult so let me all right two hands so take this off this came off this rubber bushing line up sure that that rubber bushing gets pushed back on because there's like a little clip and then just like that these are lined up so as you can see those are lined up they're the throttle the boot is over the throttle body nice and clean you want to get your second belt. usually with an extension it really helps Same with this one. This one got this one turned a little bit. And there you go. Once both those clamps are tight on the throttle body and on your air filter box, make sure it's sitting straight. And boom. There you go. Serpentine belt done at home without a special tool. You know, and I don't know how much this will range at the dealer but I'm sure it's gonna, I'm sure you're not gonna leave the dealer without spending at least $500 for a serpentine belt, which costed me 25 bucks or 30 bucks, however much the belt was. Okay, you're gonna wanna make sure that all your tools are out of the way when you're done. Um, you don't want anything accidentally falling down into the engine bay or getting caught into the belt that you just put on. Um, so just give it a double double take look for anything that's not right uh, go over all your work and then we're gonna fire this thing up and and put a flashlight on that belt and make sure it's running smooth and straight all right we got it fired up let's get a flashlight oh yeah look at that brand new belt Look at it, don't get too close. I helped you guys out that just saved me a ton of money by doing that belt myself all right thanks for watching guys go check out my channel I got some other stuff on the Silverado uh, I got a ton of plans for videos on the Yukon Denali uh, stay tuned like and subscribe thanks guys